Welcome to Earrings Off. I'm Lou. And I'm Teresa. Let's get started. Okay, Teresa, we are back from Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, my Thanksgiving was wonderful. I tell you, mine too. We, I know you were traveling and out on the highway. We stayed local and uh, it was very low key and it was just what the doctor ordered. Right. I was so anticipating. I, I, I had gotten myself ready to be dealing with lots of traffic mm-hmm. and holiday travelers. Yeah. And I tell you, it wasn't like that at all. Oh, that's good. It was a very smooth ride there. That's good. Yeah. We made record time getting there. Wow. We even stopped um, on the north side of Atlanta and had um, breakfast. At, we, had, we had breakfast there even before uh, heading to my mom's place. So oh, okay. it was a it was a fairly decent drive. I know they were excited to see you because oh, you said yeah. you hadn't been home in what, about a year? Yeah, I hadn't seen my mom I hadn't seen my mom in a year in person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we Skype with one another. Yeah. But um the great thing about it is that she was expecting us on Tuesday mm-hmm. and we arrived on Monday. So oh, she was totally shocked that's good. and surprised. So we did that on purpose. Okay. Um but yeah, that was that was that was really good. But did she give you the gift of giving you a key to the house? Or no, that was no. actually <laughs> okay. All right, she wasn't I, that happy, right? No. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't. It, well, what she did say about that because she listened to it. Oh, she did. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to watch that. It I'm was, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was not ever intentional or thought about. I'm like, yeah, right, mom. <laughs> Oh, that's what she said. Yeah. yeah. Good cover. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay, well, I'm glad you got a chance to yeah. spend some time with family. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, and then Thanksgiving dinner, we had it at my cousin's house. Okay. Um, I was able to there see a lot of cousins, uncles, and aunts that I hadn't seen in a while. Yeah, they that's were always all, a good time. It was a good time. Way too much food. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. food for days. Everybody took leftovers yeah. except yeah. for me. Yeah. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, but yeah, it was a great time, and you know, uh, it was good to see um, people doing well and and um, healthy and okay. and um, I tell you, I had conversations with with a few of them, and 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 I didn't think about it at the dinner, but mm-hmm. later on, mm-hmm. as I thought about it, many of them had the same story about missing out on sleep and not sleeping well, and right. I thought to myself. Oh, what that's is a big, that about? Yeah. That's, that's a big one. That's yeah. a big one. You know, um, I went through an episode of that. It was probably about five years ago mm-hmm. where I was just having insomnia. I didn't know what was going on. And it was, uh, it was a scary time because you were just exhausted. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like you're trying to go through your day-to-day functions and mm-hmm things you know you have to do and you think you're doing them as well as you can but it you just feel like you know you're off your game and uh, what really brought it to uh, a head for me at that time was I remember um, being in uh, actually I think I was at church and I was reading something and my hands were just shaking. Oh my. And uh, a friend actually looked at me and said what is going on with you and it, it it sort of shocked me because you could visibly see them shaking and I was just exhausted. And um, from that, I started paying more attention to it. And then, of course, you know, I went to the doctor. They didn't know what was going on. And Teresa, I, I'm not even sure you remember this, mm-hmm. but when I brought it to your attention and you said something to me that I've never forgotten, and you said, I said, well, I've been to the doctor and, you know, they can't find out what's wrong. And you said, Lou, but the doctor's sleeping. You, that's your body. Do you remember yeah. saying that to me? You said, I, it's not, I don't. You but said, it, that's your body. Yeah. And you have to be the one yeah. that cares enough to figure yeah. out what's mm-hmm. going on. And it was like a light bulb went off mm-hmm. at that point. And so I did. I started trying. I tried to read and figure out what was going on. And I did that. I wasn't getting anywhere. And then finally, one day, I went on... I think a blog or something, and they started talking about this medication that I had been on with no problem. And someone said something like, after you take it for a long period of time, 
it's like it builds up in your system and it causes insomnia. Uh-huh. And I was, I mean, I was like, oh my goodness, I think that was, that's what that's about the time frame that I've been on it. So I went back to my doctor. I said, I think it's that medication. And I told her what I'd read, took me off, put me on something else. No problem. And I have been sleeping. Ever I since. sleep well every, every night. Yeah, yeah. Ever since. Yeah. And that's what you have to do. You have to, I don't remember saying that, but that sounds like me. Yeah, you did. Everything, with everything, is so individual. Yeah. Right? And we have to pay such attention and to you what, have to care to, enough. You got to care enough. Yeah. The unfortunate part about um, what I remember of the conversations that I had with the individuals who were having trouble sleeping is that it's commonplace. It's oh, a thing. It is. It's it just is. I they've hear accepted it. They've yeah. accepted it as being normal. normal. Yeah. That's the problem. And you know, and there's I, a whole industry yeah. based on that. Right. You know, all of these sleep, sleep aids, aids and mm, people can't yeah. sleep without right. all of this stuff. Right. Yeah. And I was kicking myself a bit that I didn't have the forethought to speak to them about it at the time. It was an afterthought. Like, yeah. you know, three why, people. Yeah. Why, why in my family and that yeah. small gathering with three people that I spoke to personally have be having yeah. issues with sleep? Yeah. And then, you know, I thought about it more and I came to work and I, I was like, is this a thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And I started asking people, you know, did you rest well last night mm-hmm. at work even? Mm-hmm. And people... Doing your own keep, survey? Doing my own Dr. T, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, last week I was a preacher. <laughs> I know, right? You're just more... You're just changing before my eyes. <laughs> so, unscientific, you know? But yeah. it's an issue. People yeah. aren't sleeping, but... You know, it led me to mm-hmm. do a little bit of research, and it can be for any number of reasons. And right. people just have to figure out what that is, yeah. which is why I took the liberty to write a little blog about mm-hmm. how we can, um, how we can pay attention to that, and and some steps that we might follow to try to get make sure that we get a good good night's rest because it's so important to our overall health. So. Um, check it out okay well that's this week it's on our site yeah. um again Teresa's going to talk about how to sleep better and offer you some tips so please check that out thanks so much for joining us be sure and subscribe to earrings off you can find us at www.earringsoff.com and we're also now on iTunes. Yay. And Google Podcasts. So you have no excuse not to be able to find us. So again, happy holidays to you. Thanks for joining us. And when we know better, we do better. Have a great day.